Hey guys, welcome back. I probably might have started that too early. <laughs> uh, we're still playing Steam World Dig for the Nintendo Switchy. I'm almost out of health. Yeah, we figured out our scan problem. The TV was set wrong. Which is why it was showing up perfectly fine on the recording. That helped. No, it didn't. That's another thing I liked about this game is these like little mini dungeons. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> they drowned and you still got the experience points. I think you need to go down on the right. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything. You're gonna get cactus right in the face. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything. Cacti. Yay! Upgrade! So... Pressure bomb. Uh, oh, that explains how you're gonna get through that one area. Why don't you go to the right? I went the wrong way on accident. Can you, can you not, like, chuck a bomb at it? Oh yeah, that's how I'm gonna... Oh. Yay! That's satisfying. <laughs> it's like a little balloon. Pick up. I, oh, shit. Was trying to see... A lot of times there's, like, something secret. Oh, yeah, water had something to do with the other one, too. I think you could shoot straight... There you go. Yeah! Uh, it fills up your pressure bomb. It is like a water balloon. <laughs> Ow! It also hurts you if you're too close. It's totally like a water balloon gun. I want one for Christmas. Neat. <laughs> Shit. Can you not jump and shoot? doesn't seem like it. You might have to be... Oh, no. Uh, shoot directly up from where you're at and get out of the way. Oh. Oh, fuck. I told you totally missed that. Oh, go get water. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's, you totally can't jump and shoot. I'm pretty sure this is teaching you why. Are you hitting it early? No, it's... What the fuck? No, I need money. I, I mean, you clearly, need to, to... you clearly need to hit it and drop the brick, brick somehow. Oh, you're going to dig down from up there. All right, climb. Uh, ah. <laughs> That's ah, satisfying. I thought it said improved cell boner. <laughs> well, I did not mean to do it that time. Yeah, you know, you need to dig down from up there. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit X <laughs> or hit the thing. I remember that's the name of this episode. What? I didn't mean to hit X. <laughs> I will not remember. You might catch it while you're uh, buffering. We'll see. Dig down. There we go. And then you fucking water balloon it. And then you water balloon the other shit. Escape. Three easy water balloons. You need a light. Ah. I need to smoke. I'm addicted to my cigarettes. Or, uh. Yay. I didn't get the special in this area, though. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, there it is. How'd you know there was a special in this area? Oh, shoot up. Special. Shoot up. Go back. Oh, yeah. There's always a special? Usually. Well, I mean, usually. Woo! Told you. I know my game. Add to your collection. Isn't that like the Bonanza whistle? Is it Bonanza? Maybe. Some. Uh, no, that's. 
Like, maybe it's Bonanza. Oh, it's probably not Bonanza. It's some old western theme. It's like Rawhide. Ow! Oh. Hey. Rawhide. Hey, <laughs> another one. What'd that one do for? Oh, it's down there. Hi. Gloriously pick people in the face. So I'm going to talk about Bionic Commando here for a second. Okay. Because I learned some stuff, and we're also putting those videos up next to this one. <laughs> okay. So they, they, they censored uh, Hitler out of it, but yeah. they left his picture in it, and it's clearly him. So the the original name of the game in Japan is Hitler Hitler Resurrection, <laughs> top secret. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Yeah, it's like oh, well, it's Bonnet Commando. I think it's oh. it might still be. I think it's just called Top Secret Hitler's Resurrection. That's but like crazy. the uh, the Japanese cart clearly has Hitler like on the front of the cart, like <laughs> at the top of the cart. It's like seventy bucks on eBay, but I thought it was really cool looking. I'm not buying it. You definitely thought about it, didn't it's you? It's 70 bucks on eBay. I want to play the Japanese version, though, because it still has, like, apparently still has the swastikas in it instead of the birds. <coughs> <coughs> they said they made, the, made it easier in America somehow, but I couldn't get any, like, uh, specifics, which made me really curious. Like, it's weird. It, I hate it when you're trying to look something up on the internet <clears throat> and you can't get details that you know should be out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, if somebody says they made the levels easier in the American version, like, I expect there to be either a web page or a video showing me specifically how. I want to know. It bugs me that somebody just, like, threw that line out there that it's not, no, there's no information on it anywhere. Oh, also, if you bought the Japanese version, you definitely want the box and everything. Uh, Why that, that? For that sweet Hitler cover art. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's on the front of the cart, but you know those Famicom carts are a little tiny. Yeah. You definitely want the box for that. Yeah. It's so funny. I love... I, uh, uh, it. The game, we didn't catch it, but the game also says damn still in the English version. And it's weirdly, like, Nintendo back then would have censored that and they somehow got away with it or didn't catch it. Like, Nintendo used to be real about, like, any type of vulgar language. It's crazy that they managed to get Hitler's likeness and the word damn into that video game. Yeah. It's bizarre. Ooh. Bizarre Nintendo oversight. They've done that a couple times, though, like... There's some like like they don't they didn't use a lot of like religious imagery in video games like uh, you know crosses and stuff. Right. There's a couple Castlevania moments where they missed it too. Where you're like, what the hell? Like they apparently didn't care if people like uh, blatantly used likenesses of a, like Hitler. Like, no, <laughs> well yeah, <laughs> but like movie stars and the covers of their fucking books. Like all the all the games that have like Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking like the kids Sylvester the Stallone. I'm convinced there's some uh, weird copyright reason Contra can't get re-released on anything because of its cover art. Yeah, couldn't they just change that? I don't know, man. But like, why would they release like Super Contra for the NES Classic when clearly everybody wants Contra Contra? You know what I mean? But you can't buy Contra on anything. Like regular ass fucking old school Contra. I'm not sure it's on the on the Nintendo Virtual Console. I don't know why I did that. Eh, you got more water. I just thought it was funny. I was I was reading about it because I love Bionic Commando and I wanted to see what else there was to play on it. I'm not entirely sure I beat the remake. I think I got to the end of it. it was satisfied before Weirdly I beat the final boss. Stuck. I don't know what to do. Can't go up? On the right? Oh, I need to go over to the left, it looks like. <clears throat> well, the X is telling you to go all the way down. Yeah, but yeah. there's a wall between me. Did you see that uh, trailer for that Mountain Between Us movie yet? Oh, shit. Where it's like a... Uh, 
the two survivors, like the guy and the girl. It's like oh, the, yeah, with Idris Elba. Yeah. Okay. So when I first saw the mountain between us, I was like, I thought it was really clever, like title for a movie, because I thought it was about like a couple who are arguing, uh-huh. and then they got stuck on a mountain together. Like yeah. to me, that seemed like an ingenious idea. That you know, the mountain between us movie about a relationship. Right. And then I saw the trailer, like the full ass trailer, and it's like two strangers that have never met. <laughs> it was like son of a bitch. You know, it's gonna be amazing though because there's <laughs> Idris Elba in it. No, the movie looks good, but like I had this crazy movie idea in my brain, and then it didn't come true. Oh god damn it! You gotta go up, Greg. I need water. <laughs> I had this, you know crazy idea of what the movie was about like a you know like a relationship yeah. between these two people and a, there being a mountain between us you know and then to two fucking random strangers okay so how much time in fact we... I think they're uh, we got plenty of time I think they're like one of them I think is dating somebody completely different like I don't think there's any type of like a relationship between them at all in that oh, way so something I have to like add they're just two people so, you know, one of the... They're two ma- different types of people, but... We, neither of us had problems with this, but a major viewpoint people had with John Wick was the fact that they killed the dog. Like, it in was a major... the second one? No, in the first one. It was oh. a major problem. I mean, people... They had a not- problem with people killing the dog? That's the whole point of the damn movie. I realized this, but it was a problem. People... Okay, people I- had a problem with the dog dying in a movie that's about him getting angry because the dog died. I, I-, I-, I see the problem. I didn't... No, that wasn't... No, I think you need a bigger pick. I think you're stuck until you go all the way up and get your... Oh, never mind. (laughs) I probably could have done that the whole time. (laughs) Yeah. You could use bombs to clear it up. Okay, so who had a problem with the dog dying in a movie Uh, that's um, about a dog dying? A lot of people. A A lot of people. That's bizarre. You know that that's like the whole point of the movie. I realize this. (laughs) It was, I was talking to somebody the other day, they were talking about, uh, uh, oh, all the, like, we go. all the rape scenes and, like, uh, what was that? It's a fucking biker show. Sons? Yeah, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because they went to rape really early in the show, and once you go there, you can't, how do you make things worse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, it, it's one of those, uh things like movie guy writers go to to make make the raise the stakes as high as possible like they they always you know rape all the females or even worse the guys are getting raped in prison or whatever right but like sons sons went there with that really early in the show (laughs) and i was like yeah now they're kind of fucking bottled into having to rape everybody because they got to keep the stakes going higher and it's a weird thing to it's a weird thing in hollywood where a, a woman gets raped and now she's empowered, which is a terrible trope. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a terrible... Loves. Yeah. Well, I mean, that used to be an exploitation trope. So yeah. when you see that in a real movie, it's like, guys, this was an exploitation trope. This right. is for, like, terrible B-movies. If you start using this nonsense in your real movie, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Right, right. So, okay, so... Off track. I think you need to talk to Fern. <laughs> I already did. Oh, never mind then. No, I clearly do because I don't have another point. I said you need to get bombs. Oh, now you need to go back up. Oh. Yay. I talked to him and he told me to go up and talk to the mayor and I didn't talk to the mayor. Fail. Uh, but they clearly don't kill the dog in a plane accident that should kill an animal. What are you talking about? In in the mountain between us, there's oh. a dog. Oh, yeah, the dog's in the movie, yeah. Yeah, and they die. I mean, they have a helicopter crash, I, I and found the dog that, doesn't die. I found that distracting, too, the dog in it. I, I saw the trailer. I was like, they're going to eat this dog. It's going to be a whole plot point. It's going to sacrifice. It's going to be. It's going to sacrifice it to a wolf. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where you see it, and you're like, this is like the, it's like the scene in every zombie movie where, like, Eventually, somebody's gonna have to be like, "Kill me before I become a zombie." <laughs> it's like, God damn it! No, it's too What's damn even obvious. Worse was, uh, That's a stupid trope. Call of Duty Ghost. Where, oh yeah, uh, the dogs are gonna. We're die. like, oh, this dog's gonna die. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then it's like towards the end of the game, you're like, oh man, maybe the dog doesn't. Die. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, a, it's it's a dumb version of the uh, 
if you introduce a gun at the in the anywhere in the movie, you have to use it by the end of the movie. Oh yeah. Like if you introduce a gun in the first act, by the third act, somebody's gonna get shot. Yeah. Uh, it's you put a dog in something like that, especially movies, because movies, you know, like it's it's a pain in the ass to add a whole fucking dog actor or to a movie. So yeah. It's, it's got to have and, some stupid major significance for them to go through the trouble. Well, I mean, and having a dog in in an extreme environment like right. this movie was clearly filmed in. Or they just didn't think their their characters had enough emotional impact to carry the movie. Yeah, but you have Idris Elba. You, that wasn't yeah. a problem. I'm just saying. So like, you saw like the uh, like uh, during the Olympics, the the like. I don't know what they call them. It's like the people that go through like the wilderness and the boats and everything. Yeah. They they like found a dog halfway through it and then like kept it with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Fucking ESPN with the feels. Yeah, we're like way over time now. We're yes. not way over time. But we're so over time. We'll end it here, and I'll talk about my thing on the next episode. See you guys on the next episode.